Hello, this is a video on parameter estimation using backfitting, and we're going to illustrate this concept in the R statistical software. Now, I'm putting this video in a playlist I call Miscellaneous and Using R, and it's copied exactly from a book called Introduction to Statistical Learning with Applications in R, Second Edition. It's a great book, by the way, it's free. So if you search that title online, you can, you can find it and follow along. In Chapter 7, it talks about generalized additive models. And it mentions that backfitting is the approach that's used to fit those models. And at the end of Chapter 7, Question 11 in the homeworks, they walk you through what backfitting means. And then question 12, which actually would be part two of this video, they walk through a, a more complicated uh, example. Okay, So one note here, anything that I type is 100% taken from the book, copied over. Now the R code is, is mine. It's my attempt at the solution for this homework problem. Okay, so here's here's the setting. Suppose that we want to fit a multiple linear regression, but our software only does simple linear regression. Can we still estimate all the parameters in multiple linear regression? And the answer is yes. That's what backfitting accomplishes. Okay, so it's an iterative process, and so you're going to uh, continue looping through these estimates and updating until some sort of convergence is obtained. Now in part A it asks us to create 100 data points with two predictors, one y variable. And so this is what I do here. I first of all I remove all the objects in R and then I set the seed so this is reproducible. 8675309. So then we have 100 data points. This is the error in our linear model. These are the two predictors. This is the unknown beta parameter, so it's going to be beta naught, beta 1, and beta 2. And then this creates the y vector. So in a sense, our data set has a y and two x's. So we have three variables. And we want to regress y on x1 and x2. Here's the betas that it randomly picked in this step. So here's the process. What we do is we estimate or we guess at this first value. So it's now a fixed constant. And then we then there's only one unknown. So we use linear regression to estimate this parameter. Then we fix it at that value and we run linear regression to estimate this parameter. Then we use it to re-estimate this, and then we use that to re-estimate this, so it's a back and forth. And that's essentially the gist. I'll cover a little more details in a second. So we first come up with an estimate, and so then that becomes a constant, so we subtract it to this side, and this is our new y, in a sense. So we're regressing y onto x2. And again, this is copied straight from the book. This is what the two lines of code that they recommend. So we enter them. And then this is our new estimate for beta 2. Now we fix beta 2. So this is now fixed at this value, subtracted over. And this is our new y. And then we run linear regression to estimate beta 1. And the book suggests using this code. So I do. So this is this piece here is the left side, the dependent variable. And we regress it onto y1. Now the model, since it's linear regression, there's two coefficients. And we want the second one, the slope parameter. And that's our new estimate for beta 1. And this is it. Now, not in the book. For this problem, it doesn't say estimate the intercept term. And this is how it's done. 
So now we have estimates for beta 1 and beta 2. So we subtract them to over. So we have y minus those. We take the mean. And that's our estimate for beta 1. Now there's some say that since we have fixed estimates, we subtract them over. And then we regress it onto a constant vector. And then that's our beta, our beta 0, you know, our estimate for beta 0. But that's exactly the same thing. And so um, I think in this method here, it's like using a cannonball to kill a fly when we only need a fly swatter. And perhaps that's not a good analogy, but it's, you, know, you don't need all this machinery. You just need to take the mean. Okay, so I want to illustrate what we're going to do here. Oh, maybe I'll do it on the next slide. So here it says, uh, create a loop and we want to do this loop a thousand times and keep updating these parameters. We want to create a plot, maybe different values. So let's do it. One note is I don't do it a thousand times. I do it 50, mainly because it converges after three or four iterations and it's a waste of time. <laughs> and, and we'll show you. But in general, you shouldn't do it so many times you should do it and check to see about convergence. Are they converging to a, a certain value? And then you have some solid, sort of a tolerance associated with it. So I want to walk through this code. 50 loops. I create a matrix, which I'm going to call betas. And there's three columns. And so this is going to be beta 0, beta 1, beta 2. First iteration second iteration, third iteration, all the way to, and then this example, there's 50. So, oh, I named the columns. I initialized beta 1. So I'm going to put a circle there because that's just our that's initial guess. Now we start the loops. Loop 1, we use beta 1 to estimate beta 2. So we get this coefficient. Then we use beta 2 to estimate beta 1. Then we use both of those to estimate beta 0. Then I store those values in the first row of this matrix. So then it starts the second loop. And what it's doing is it's essentially taking this 0 or this estimate x and using it as our initial guess in the next iteration. So here it takes that value and estimates beta 2. Then it takes beta 2 and estimates beta 1. Then it takes both of those and then estimates beta 0. Stores it in the second row of this matrix. Then we repeat. We go to the third iteration. So it carries this estimate down estimates this, estimates that, estimates that, and then, then just repeats 50 times. And then this final row of estimates is going to be our backfitted parameter estimates. And it turns out that they're, they're equal to or converge to the least squares estimates for multiple linear regression. So the mat plot is kind of interesting. It takes the x here, and then this is a matrix, and it plots x against each column. And in our case, there's three columns. And this is it. And notice that the, the parameter converges, and we get pretty good convergence here. And this one moves and then converges. Notice that 22 is not any, anywhere in there. That was our initial guess for beta 1 hat. But if we go back to our matrix, after the first iteration, that estimate 22 is updated. So it's that's not our first iteration of backfitting estimates, if, if I said that correctly. Right, and this is it. And so after three or four, man, it converges fast. So compare your answers to multiple linear regression. So we regress y onto x1 and x2, and we fit it here, and then we just row bind the coefficients for multiple linear regression, and then the backfitting estimates, and notice they're 100% the same. I mean, the tolerance is, is with, it's like 0.26 zeros or more, and then a number. I mean, they're, they are so close. 
um, how on this data set how many iterations in order to obtain good approximation and if we look at this so this is the first iteration the second the third and then after this they're all constant so we obtained convergence in four iterations of, of using the backfitting algorithm okay well that, this is all I have for this video and the next video we're going to illustrate this with a hundred predictors so I hope you enjoyed this I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.